So let me get this straight. ESPN and uh, USA Today and other sources are reporting that had Scott Frost taken the team to a 6-6 six and six record, going to a bowl game, if, if that had happened, they were going to give, uh, um, Trev Alberts was going to give Scott Frost another million bucks and uh, extend his contract for another season to 2027, all the way through 2027? Really? Well, you, I, I can see now why they didn't want that information public. That is embarrassing. That is stupefyingly, insanely embarrassing. What kind of leverage did Scott Frost have to get that kind of contract? Where you can literally turn in the worst performance a coach has ever had in Nebraska, certainly back the last 70 seasons, then go 50-50 and get an extension for another season and get your contract brought back up to $5 million a year. What kind of leverage does Scott Frost have? Who is negotiating this stuff? Well, whoever it was, was also smart enough to figure out some way to get Scott Frost seven and a half large to walk away. When all they had to do was let him stick around another game or so on a season that fans had already said was a lost season anyway and keep that seven and a half million and give it to someone who deserved it. You cannot be serious with this contract nonsense. You cannot. It, make it, you know what, check it out. So, um, I, uh, have the, I have an article from ESPN here. I was so frustrated after reading it, I crumpled it up. You know what? Mickey Joseph, you don't know who I am, and you're not watching this video. In fact, I don't think anyone who knows Mickey Joseph is watching this video. But you know what, Mickey? Look, dude, check it out. See this article? See this? This is at ESPN, okay? Just go to ESPN, and uh, you know what? Hey, Mickey, <laughs> tell you what, if you want, Send me an email or something, and I'll just send you my copy, all ripped up. You walk into Trev's office. Th th there's your leverage. There's your leverage. If they were willing to give that to Scott Frost, how dare they say, how dare anybody say that Mickey Joseph isn't worth even part of that? Are you kidding me? <sighs> All y'all all out there talking about Mickey Joseph needs more Mickey Joseph needs more experience. You can't hire a coach if you can't see his record on the field. He doesn't have enough head coaching experience. <laughs> really? Well, you know who apparently didn't care too much about experience? The people writing Scott Frost check after years one, two, three, four, and maybe if he'd have Imagine what we'd be right now had they beat Northwestern or not lost to Georgia Southern. There'd be people, 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 out, people out there saying that Scott Frost deserved more time. And the time he would have got was another year. What? Tell you what, Mickey Joseph, Mickey Joseph. Mickey Joseph, brother, you just got paid. You just got paid. And there's no chance, if you're a Husker fan, and you like Mickey Joseph, kind of what he's doing here, the team's kind of rallying around this guy, there's no reason any of you should say one word about any money Mickey Joseph gets paid. Every single penny he gets is a penny that would have gone to Scott Frost. Or well, more accurately, the seven and a half million dollars the team gave Scott to walk away, that could have easily paid, you know, for a little experience, a little on-the-job experience that Mickey would have got with that money. Give me a break, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little, yeah, little, 
intense about this, shall we say? Because I keep reading these comments and going, just waiting through the comments, Mickey Joseph needs more experience. <laughs> really? The t the what? The Nebraska was going to give Scott Frost another year for going six and six in a bowl game. And all y'all fans out there that would support that nonsense, you better get behind Mickey Joseph because he's the next head coach of this team. Mickey Joseph is your next Nebraska official head coach. I'm, I'm planting that flag right now. I'm gra grabbing the flag and I'm planting it right now and saying not only is Mickey Joseph the next coach, Mickey Joseph can walk in with this and get paid as he should. Go Big Red. See you next video.